there you have it ladies and gentlemen so ang first is that uh, the parallelogram law for the addition of forces so in here we have um, two laws na kailangan um, formulas yeah. uh, so first one is law of sines and law of cosines I don't know if familiar na kayo neto pero like if you're taking um, calculus and physics then the law of sense and cosines are pretty helpful in that subject so I guess alam na to. but for everybody's sake isulat na lang natin ang law of sense and law of cosines so law of um, cosine ito yung formula niya c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine mm, gamma and law of sine states um, sine alpha over a is equal to sine beta over b so ito yun guys and take note alam na din natin na pwede tong magka interchange so pwede tong sa law of sine pwede tong a na sa ibaba tapos sine alpha yung nasa ilalim is equal to b over sine beta and dito c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine gamma so eto guys ito yung mga sides ng triangle tapos eto sa ibaba eto yung angle nya yung alpha beta at saka gamma yan eto yung gano sya kahaba and all so pwede na may interchange and eto din is equal rin to sa sine gamma over c and eto kung a yung hahanapin natin well same lang siya sa a squared is, is equal to um, ipalit natin yung ano c squared plus b squared minus 2 cb cosine alpha since a na parang ganun lang so basic stuff lang to guys but um, kailangan natin to siya masyado kaya dapat natin itong um, aralin so Ayun na nga. Okay. So, finding x and y component na tayo. So, magbibigay tayo ng example dito. Okay, sulat muna natin yung example, guys. Charot. Aray. So, let's say for instance, this is our y-axis and this one is our x-axis. Tapos dito, meron tayong vector, meron tayong force 1 um, na 120 newtons, 30 degrees. Tapos dito naman sa isang, straight to guys ah. <laughs> F2 is equal to 120 newtons then tapos dito 70 degrees so let's find the x and y components of our resultant vector right so <laughs> saan ba tayo <laughs> asan yung calculator ko so first hanapin muna natin yung X component natin. So, F1 of X um, is equal to F1 cosine theta. Ganun. Tama? Yeah, tama. <laughs> Tapos, ang component niya sa y, f1 of y is equal to f1 sine theta. Tapos, ang pangalawa naman, f2x is equal to f2 cosine theta. And f2y is equal to f2 sine theta. Tama? Tama. <laughs> And... Ito total natin yan. Ito yung summation ng force x. Ito din yung summation ng force y. Parang ganun. So, hanapin muna natin yung f cosine theta. F1 cosine theta, guys. Um, F1 cosine theta. Ilan yung F1 natin? It's 120 newtons. Cosine 30. 
30 degrees. So, magbibase tayo guys sa positive x-axis guys ah. So, cosine 30 degrees, which is um, f 1x is equal to solve natin. 120 cosine 30. So, it's 60 square root of 3 or roughly 103.92 newtons. Tapos, ang sa F2x is equal to F2 120 cosine. Take note na hindi itong 70 degrees. Ito lang ay um, just our base. Um, kumbaga. Since um, half siya ng circle, diba dito? And this one is 180 degrees, right? Tapos dito, so this one is a right angle, right, ano din? So, 90-90 So, 180 minus 70 ilan yan. So, it's 110. So, it's 110 degrees. Which is equal to um, 120 cosine 110. Negative 41.04 newton. So, i-add natin tong dalawa. Plus 103.92. So, dito meron tayo sa summation dito na 62.88 newtons. So, hanapin naman natin yung y natin. So, f1 of y is equal to 120 sine 30. Ilan yung 120 sine 30? So, natin. It's 60 newtons. Tapos, f2 y is equal to 120 sine as like uh, na mention ko kanina na ito yung angle na kukunin natin which is 110 so 110 is equal to one one two point seventy six newtons so we add natin yung dalawa makukuha tayo ng 172 Point seventy six newtons na summation ng forces sa y-axis natin. So, since nakuha na natin yung summation natin ng force sa x-axis saka summation ng force sa y-axis, uh, makukuha na natin yung resultant niya, guys. So, alam naman natin na wait, erase ko muna to dito. Oops, sorry. Erase muna natin dito. Since alam naman natin na ang resultant ay equal siya ng summation f of x squared plus summation f of y squared. So, i-input na natin dito um, 62.88 squared plus 172.76 squared. So, makukuha natin na ang resultant natin ay mm, 183.84 85 rather. 85 newtons. So, ito yung resultant vector natin. Um, sulat natin dito kasi erase natin dito na part. So, wait dito na lang. So, R is, is equal to 183.85 newton. Um, summation F of X is equal to 62.88 newton. And... Summation y is equal to 172.76 newton. So, erase ko na dito guys. So, ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng resultant? Mm -mm. Kasi dito, ang sa parallelogram, wait. So, so, 
Ito yung y axis natin, ito yung x axis natin. So ang sabi doon, ang sa f natin 62 siya. Ito, 62.88 newtons. Yan yung f of x natin. Tapos yung f of y natin 172.76 newtons. Yan yung f of y natin. So ang resultant natin ito dito. Ito yung r natin. So hanapin natin yung angle dito. And So, di ba, ito, pwede natin itong i-transfer dito. Parang ganun. So, ito na yung F of Y natin. And, it makes sense din naman. Kasi sa Pythagorean Theorem, um, ito magiging C, ang hypotenuse A plus B. So, C is equal to square root of A plus B. Tama? Ganyan. So, kukunin natin yung theta dito. Since, me, me, since meron na tayong, i-draw doon na lang yung triangle natin. Dito banda. So, meron na tayong um, f of x is equal to 62.88 newton. Um, f of y is equal to 172.76. Tsaka yung r natin is equal to 183.85. Yan. So, ang gagawin natin, gagamit tayo ng yung sinulat ko kanina na law of sines and law of cosines. So, paano nga ba ito kukunin yung theta dito? So, di ba alam naman natin na sa law of sines, yung sokatawa, na sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, di ba? So, ang opposite neto, ano ang opposite dito? eto di ba so it's 172.76 over ang hypotenuse niya na 183.85 ganun so makukuha natin na sin theta is equal to 172.76 over 183.85 0.85 9, 7. Ganun. So, makukuha natin yung... Paano ba kunin yung theta? Alam natin na paano kukuha ng theta is arc sine. <coughs> Neto. So, kung i-arc sine natin to, answer lang. Tapos, gawin natin arc sine dito. So, makukuha natin theta is equal to 69.9977 or roughly 70 degrees. So, ang answer natin R is, R is equal to 183.85 newtons na nasa 70 degrees along positive x axis Ito yung resultant ng force natin, guys.